All right, I got a quick video here that I'm going to make on my progress on my generator. I got the flywheel done here, and it's mounted to the board pretty nicely. This is the DC motor I'm going to be using to keep it going. Uh, I got a little diode on here, and uh, I'm going to have this other end going to be connected to a coil that's uh, going to be on the edge here. And the other end of the coil is going to come and be wrapped into another coil. And that other coil's end is going to come into here. So it's going to be one wire, but it's going to go into two coils. And the two ends of that one wire is going to go into here. And that's going to be placed into the center like that to keep this thing, to keep this whole thing going. So that's where I'm at in my generator progress for now. Um... I noticed that in a video that from Mr. Angus Wangus that he showed that he could produce 16 volts of alternating current from some little setup he had. And I just wanted to make a little suggestion on how he could use these little transformers to step that current up to 120 volts. Like, uh, like I can show here. Like I got this wire plugged in. And it's running to this little circuit board here, which is just two capacitors and a static electricity induction coil that uh, is used for, this is used in a radio. But these capacitors are just to keep the load from draining in the transformer, and this is, this little static electricity wire is just to help with the signal of the radio wave. But um, I got the voltmeter here, and I'm going to show that you can take this, this current here that it's, is let's see what do we got here we got 120 we're getting 129 out of the out of the plug okay and so the 129 we get out out of the plug is usually gets sent into a power adapter which has these transformers in it it gets sent into the wire that Oops, the magnets took to the. Uh, it usually gets sent into the wire with uh, the thinnest wire first, and then it gets sent out of the thicker wire in, uh, as a reduced step down current. See the the wire the wires of these aren't actually connected. This is just one wire wound a bunch of times around a piece of metal, so it's just one wire in, one wire out, and it's the same wire. And it's the same thing with the thicker wire. It's just this is just one wire. So. What usually happens is the current gets stepped down, and this has got 129, and let's see, it gets stepped down into, we're stepping it, it's getting stepped down into 14 volts. So that, this is just 14 volts right here. So if instead of, four, so imagine if we were getting, if this was this setup wasn't here and you're getting 16 volts out of your generator and you used one of these transformers that's attached to one of the coils and it's it, instead of uh, having these thinner thinner wires that I have tied together it would just be the thick wire there's be this thick wire right here that's wound around the coil so you, I I think you do want thicker wire around the coils of the of the generator wheel so this and it would be the so one wire from one coil would be wound up, and then it goes to the other coil wound up, and the ends of those, uh, the end of that wire would go into this transformer. So two coils, or uh, are one, are one wire wound into two coils, and the two ends of that wire are sent into a, a transformer like this. The, the the two ends, this is the two ends of the coil, so it makes a third coil. These two coils with one wire get wound into a third coil right here. And it gets stepped back up, or it gets stepped up into, let's see how many volts, four, let's see what 14 volts gives us. 14 volts is giving me 127. See? So 14 volts of AC right here is getting stepped up into 127 volts with this single transformer right here. So if I could have this generator on the move and producing 14 volts, I could get 127 volts with this little transformer 
connected to the two ends of the coil wires. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, once I get my magnets mounted to the wheel here and I get my coils uh, wound and all mounted and set up, I'm going to run the ends of those coils into step up transformers like this. So I think so. I think that's what I want to do. It would be my suggestion to Mr. Angus Swangus uh, from what I saw in his last video. Maybe uh, maybe I missed something or I don't know. Anyway, uh, that's going to be my short video for now. Um, oh, I I just real quickly I made a new little stand up lamp. <laughs> it's kind of cool. It has its own little three-legged stand, and it has no circuitry in it whatsoever. It's just got this little capacitor that you just hold the button, and it fill, fills the current up and pops on. So I use it for my desk and for, you know, whatever. But anyway, all right, I just wanted to show that. That's my progress on my generator wheel for now, and uh, my suggestion to Mr. Angus Wangus for his... Uh, next step in the current for uh, uh, his uh, generator display there. I I saw that he got 16 volts out of that little wheel generator he made, and I think he should take that 16 volts and send it to a tr transformer. Step it up to 120. See if you can get 129 or how many amps you can get at 120 volts with that. But uh, this is going to be mine generator. Spins pretty pretty well. Let me see how fast I can get her going here. Yeah, it spins pretty well by itself. Oh yeah, when I get the uh, magnets on there and get get everything all mounted, that thing should be a lot heavier. So all right, that's my video for now. Uh, leave a comment if you like. Uh, I uh, expect to hear from you, Mr. Angus Wingus, uh, just uh, your response to my suggestion, anyway, about stepping the current up, if you had thought of it before, or, <laughs> or if you're going to try it out. I'd like to see if you would uh, video if you did. Okay, talk to you soon. Stay tuned.